Hello. Now this is a good time to do um, the bottom of your uh, morning coat, so the hem of your morning coat, especially if you have a full coat. Um, it's good to see um, the actual how the line continue uh, when it's open because remember we haven't machined our seam allowance or uh, on the shoulders so therefore is all your morning coat is will be open flat and you can see that line nice and clear so it's very important that you can do that this method I'm going to show you is only applies for the um, for the fabric which is made of this coat, which is Melton, uh, and it doesn't phrase much. So it's very important for you to remember. So this method is only for that type of fabric. So the first thing you need to do is, we're going to check, some of you already trimmed some seam allowance, some of you didn't, it's absolutely fine. Um, so I'm going to do is, if I fold it, so the first thing I'm going to do is just following my, uh, the back, line sometimes it can be stretched so that's what you have to be very careful sometimes when you in the process of making the back panel that part that parts here it can be stretched um by acting with the iron and, and during the making so so you have to be um, careful and if you need to shorten a little bit you do that so my one is less absolutely perfect so i'm just going to fold it on the um at the back to following my um, tucking and you can see straight away as I fold it is the hem here the the line of the can you see that it's better it doesn't lay flat can you see it's quite hard actually to for you to see it's maybe that way so when I yeah so when I fold it that over you can see straight away it's not laying flat and that would be no very good for um, for the morning coat so so we need to adjust that and for me um, what I'm going to do I'm going to just take my tucking out so to release my seam allowance so I can fold it slightly further um, even up to, let's see, even uh, fold it further, even up to one centimeter, 1.5, if it's necessary, which is absolutely fine. But again, you can feel it, it's a little bit bulky in here. The first thing you need to remember, we're not folding slits separately from the back. We, we lay your plate flat, so it became as part of your back, so it's not separate, it became as part of your about we're not opening your pleat and we're folding your pleat together and that way your pleat because it's pure decorative and will be controlled by uh, folding with the back so that's quite important for you to um to remember so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to try to perfect my line and i'm going to trim some seam allowance in that so spend a good time on your um, hem because it does shows trust me it does shows when uh, when you start um when it's on the person um so make sure that part is doesn't go to the point like that sometimes what happens it goes nice and smooth and that part goes away so this one is have to be on the um 90 um degrees so straight now, so I'm going to put the pin. So as you see here, see uh, at the moment I'm just folding over, and I'm show you, um, on you know what to do with that. At the moment, what I want to do just to create a nice, beautiful line, which is you know um, I can see, and only you can do that from from the um, front. So he need to be re -ironed. So I'm going to just to use my pin to create nice, smooth line at the moment so I need to unpick a little bit further here to release my fabric that okay. so so I can have continuous beautiful line which is will go into the back A little bit, I um, hope you can see, a little bit thinly. So 
like that. So perfect. I just make sure it's there. I'm going to check, make sure my line, can you see that? It's perfect. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to tap that line because it's important that you have that um, you know, um, line there. So where we're going to fold it and trim our seam allowance, so it's quite important that, so that's what I'm going to do just uh, along my um, fold, just tucking that line. And if you see, yeah. continue. <coughs> So just at the bottom. Yeah. There we go. Just to show you, that's what I've done. So that's my nice. So that's my nice continuous line. So I have to take extra fabric from from the front to create nice nice line and that's absolutely fine to do that so at the moment this stage is all about aesthetic and it's all about look but again as i said this method is is only for the um figure fabric like this because we're going to cut our seam allowance more seam allowance in that area because um, to reduce the thickness if your fabric is frays if your fabric is thinner then you will keep all your seam allowance including at the front that at that area you will keep your seam allowance there all right then so that's done and i show you in the next video show you um you know what to do next bye